Rob, I'm going to show you some coins that you've never seen. And I can say that with confidence because those are what coins look like before they're coins. These are blanks. Counterfeiters call them slugs. The Treasury Department calls them blanks. You see, they haven't been minted yet, haven't been struck. There's a lot of potential there. A blank coin can be any coin, any coin at all. In fact, if I rub the back of my hand and tug on my sleeve and wiggle, I can change it into a copper English penny that used to be blank. Now, you're probably saying, that was amazing. I wasn't expecting that. I wonder if the guy would do it again. I'm glad you asked. I'd be more than happy to watch again with the second one. Because remember, a blank coin can be any coin. Any coin at all. A little tug and a wiggle, I can change it into a silver half dollar. Again, used to be blank. Copper and silver. In fact, they say a magician should never repeat a trick. But since I already have, I'm going to do it again. Because we know a blank coin can be any coin. It can even be a gold Indian rupee. So there's copper and silver and gold, three different coins that used to be blank. You name a coin. The coin you name is the coin you get. Which one would you like? Silver. The silver coin. Great. Would you do me a favor? Hold out your right hand, palm up, because I want you to hold the coin, turn your hand over, don't let it get out. You could have chosen either one of these, the copper or the gold. You did not. You chose the silver. Fortunately, it doesn't matter, because I have another blank. And now we know that a blank coin can be any coin. It can even be the coin you're holding. Did you feel that tap? Yes. Did you feel the coins change places? Yes. You should have, because I've got your silver coin. You've got the blank coin. <laughs> yes, they have transposed, and you can take a look at everything. And that is the blank coin routine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.